Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I am fine, thank you. What about you? I'm doing okay, thank you. Thanks for asking. Okay. How was your Very weekend? Good. How was your weekend? Uh, okay. Uh, work and uh, rest in my home. Good. Did you rest Saturday or Sunday? Uh, Sunday, rest. Okay. Okay. So you work today? Yes. Now, I, no, excuse me. Now is rest in my home. Now. Oh, okay. All yes. right. Good, good, good. That's good. So you rested Saturday. Exactly. You yes. rested on Saturday. Okay, very good. Nice. Ricardo. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. Thanks. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Thanks. Good, good. How was the weekend? Mm, good, teacher. I spent my time with my family and we did some activities about the San Valentine's Day, right? <laughs> good, good, good. That's nice. What about you, teacher? What did you do? Uh, I rested on Saturday. You know, I came back to my house around 4 p.m. So we went to eat dinner uh, and then we returned to the house. I was exhausted. I was really tired. And yesterday um, we visited a friend um, in Chalchuapa. Chalchuapa, huh? Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's what I so did. you have family in Chalchuapa, teacher? No, uh, only a friend, yeah. only a friend. So last week, it was his birthday and oh. uh, he says, uh, I'm going to cook something on, 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 on Sunday. So can you come? And I say, yeah. So it was a nice place. It was a nice place. Oh, man. That's good teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Janet. How are you, Janet? How are you? Fine. Good. Thank how was you. how was your weekend? Uh, it was uh, good. Uh huh. Okay, that's nice. All right. So, what time is it, people? Twenty o four. Twenty o four. Or eight o four. Very good. And what is today's date? What's Monday. today's date? Monday. 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 What? Monday fifteenth of February. Okay, Monday. What is first, the date or the month? The month, teacher. Monday. Yes. So, February 15th, what is the year? 2021. 2021, that is correct, very good. Okay, so let's begin. Hello, Rose, welcome back. Hello, good evening. Good evening, how was your weekend, Rose? Nice, nice. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's begin. Uh, do you remember the topics we covered on Friday? Anybody? Um, prepositions of time. Prepositions of time. Yes. And some, and some vocabulary. Okay. In, on, and at. at. Now, can you refresh my memory and tell me when we use in? When do we use in? In when is how? Okay, uh, an hour? An hour, yeah. 
Okay, in specific time. Specific time. Specific time. So when we say specific time, we are saying in five years, in five months, in five minutes. What else? In 2012. Uh-huh, years. Yes, yes. exactly. In, in a period, period, no. Yeah, in a period of time. In a period of time. Right, in so. Some, in, in summer. Okay. Yeah. Summer, winter, what's the name of that? Um, How do you say temporadas in English? Yes, seasons. 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 Do we have seasons in El Salvador? No, we don't. We have periods. Periods, yes, we have two periods. The dry period and the rainy period. Right, very good. Okay, what about on? When do we use on? Uh-huh. For a specific day. Um, mm, for example, on a specific place. Mm. No, these are prepositions of time. Of oh, time. Mm -hmm. So, when is Father's Day in El Salvador? On June 16, 17th. Yeah. On June seventeenth. So, on. if you if you mention the month plus the date, mm -hmm. you're supposed to mm -hmm. say on. Mm. Okay. Right, yes. What about holidays? In, on, or at? On? Yes. On. On is correct. How do you say, te miro el día de la madre? I'll see the day of mom. I'll see you on... on the on the day, on the Mother's Day. On Mother's Day. On Mother's Day. I see you on Mother's Day. How do you say celebremoslo el día de los niños, el día del niño? Uh -huh. uh, let's, let's celebrate children. Yeah, no, let's celebrate it on, on Children's Day. Children's children. Yeah. So every time Cada vez de que usted mencione el nombre de un feriado, you need to say on. Yes. On Father's Day, on Children's Day. How do you say el Día de los Muertos in English? That day. Not really. What is inside you? Yeah. Heart. It's Soul's Day. Soul's Day. Yeah, I remember because I, I watched the movie Souls. Okay, Soul. good. Yeah. So... <laughs> Souls Day. Day. When yes. is Souls Day in El Salvador? On November 2nd. Second. On November 2nd, yes. Second, yeah. November 2nd. Uh, where do you visit uh, on Souls Day? What place do you visit? The cemetery. Good. What is a synonym of cemetery? Grave. Graveyard. Ah, great, great. Graveyard. 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 Yes. So imagine that you're planning something with your family and you said, hey, why don't we meet at the graveyard? Why don't we meet at the graveyard? So graveyard is a synonym of cemetery, right? So open places at the parking lot, at the stadium, at the beach. Open places, you say at. Any questions about the prepositions? Yes, when you use in. in it. Um, when you mention only the month. So I'm going to the States in April. I'm huh. going to the States in December. Or when you're mentioning a specific amount of time, in five months, in five years, in five minutes. So you say in. I was okay. born in 1971. So you can say I'm going to the United States in December. Sure, sure. 
Now, if you will mention December plus the date, then you have to change and says, my plane ticket is for December 5th. Yeah, on December 5th. So keep that in mind. All right, anything else? Any questions about in, on, at? Any question? No questions, okay, so. Yeah. Yes. Yes, go ahead, Osmin. It's correct. I say I was born in. One, I was born, uh huh. Okay. In, uh, I was born in 1963. Uh, okay, that's a good question. You see the chat? I was born in 1971. So years are usually cut in two parts, the first two and the last two. Got it? Ah, okay. The first two and the last two. Okay. The first two and the last two. So yeah. when did we celebrate independence? In uh, September. 1921. 1821. Oh, yeah, yeah, 1821. 1821, right. So uh, when you talk about years, you usually say them separate. Now, after the year 2000, you say them exactly the same way you do it in Spanish. 2010, 2010. Or you can say 2010. Uh, 2020, 2020, 2020. Right. Mm -hmm. How do you say 1540? Uh, 1540. Uh, <laughs> 1540. So you always divide them in two. Okay. So what if the year is 1800? How do you say 1800? 18. No. Not really. Very simple. How many hundreds are there in 1800? Two. How many hundreds are there? Eight. Eight. Mil ochocientos. ¿Cuántas veces aparece el cien en mil ochocientos? Eighteen. Eighteen. Exactly. 18. So you say eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Okay. Eighteen hundred. How do you say mil cuatrocientos? Fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred. Excellent. Very good. All right, any questions um, about the dates, about prepositions? Um, when, for example, the, uh, with, with the last week, uh, we pronounce 1950 with an S to the final. Uh -huh. um, how do you pronounce this? 50s, the 1950s, 50s. yes. The 1950s, right. only the 50s. Okay, now if you're saying uh, 1950, mm -hmm. you should say uh, the 1950s. Now, what do you understand by the apostrophe S? Yes. It could have been uh, 1952, 1954, exactly. So you say 50s. From the, from the one to nine. Right, mm -hmm. right. So that's, okay. that's how the you do it. The, se the 70s, the 60s. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay. The yes. 18th, 18th, uh -huh. eight, eight, uh -huh. 80s, yeah. 70s, the 90s. The 90s. The 90s. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Yep. Now, if I, pregúnteme la edad de mi tía. How old is your aunt? How old is your aunt? Okay. How? Let me see. Old is your aunt. How do you say anda en los cuarentas? She's in the forties. She is in her forties. Okay, she is in her forties. That is one. She's in her forties. Maybe she's forty-two. Maybe she's forty-four. Para dar un estimado decimos 40s. Allá abarca desde el 40 hasta el 49. 40s. 
But remember, um, I can say she was born in the 40s. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She was born in the uh -huh. 40s. Okay. Now, how many years are there in a decade? ¿Cuántos años hay en una década? Ten. 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 ¿Cómo va a decir usted que ella nació entre el 40 y el 43? Que es al inicio de los 40. She was she... born in the beginning. In the 40s. How do you say temprano in English? Early 40s. Early 40s. Y esto lo va a aplicar para dar un estimado más cercano que cuando decimos en los 40, pues sí, pero el 40 empieza en el 40 y termina hasta en el 49. Pero si quieres ser un poco más exacto, you say early 40s. You say in early 40s. She was born in early 40s. In the early 40s. In, in the, the early 40s. Early 40s. If you, if you don't want to say the exactly year. Okay, you can, or, or if you don't know, maybe you don't want to say it. Ah, maybe okay. You, maybe you say in her early, I, I, I'm not sure, but I think that she's in her early 40s. Can I say I was born in the early 90s? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the early 70s. I was born in the early 70s. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. So early, Marta, welcome back. Marta, Marta. Okay, ¿qué sucede si la persona nació en el 44, en el 45, en el 46, justo a la mitad de la década? ¿Cómo vamos a decir eso? Between 40s. Mid 40s. Ah, mid 40s. Mid 40s. Mm -hmm. And this is very important because sometimes people ask you for dates les pide fecha si usted no sabe exactamente so tiene que dar un, un aproximado so que tal si nació 47, 48, 49 what is latest. the opposite of early <laughs> the latest, uh -huh. late. exactly. latest or late? Yeah. No, late late ah yeah. late. late 40s Ah, mm -hmm. So I was born in the early 70s. So is it 71, 72, or 73? I was okay. born in 71. Okay. So that's this is how you approximate uh, dates when you're not sure or you don't want to tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Any questions or comments, people? No. Okay, so here we go with the first activity. Los voy a unir en parejas y van a hablar de lo que hicieron el fin de semana. Which tense do you need when you're talking about past events? Which what? Which tense do you need? ¿Qué tiempo gramatical ocupan para hablar de cosas pasadas? Was, where? But the tense. Which tense? Yes. No. Do you That's remember tense. tense? Yes. What's the meaning of tense? Past tense. Past no. tense. Exactly. Yeah. yeah past tense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I went to visit my family. Yeah. I bought new pants. Uh, I watched my favorite program. I listened to the new album of, and you mentioned the name, but everything has to be in past. All right, so let me assign you. Uh -huh. Create rooms. Uh, and there we go. All right, so talk about your weekend. Hable acerca de las cosas que hizo en su fin de semana. Let's go. Voy a levantar a traer agua. I'll be back. Okay.
Hola, Marta. Hello, hello. Vilma and Marta, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Good night. Hello, Marta. <laughs> How are you? Um... <laughs> ¿Cómo está? Gracias a Dios, bien. Good. Bien. How are your classes? <laughs> ¿Cómo están sus clases? Pues, este, allí aprendiendo, pues he bajado bastantes aplicaciones allí para ir, este, a... Este, digamos, este, formando oraciones y pues ahí para no, no detenerme solo good. que me, me complica mucho good, very good, very good y las clases que está impartiendo ¿cómo le va? ah bueno, ahí sí ahí sí, pues estamos trabajando con ya los jóvenes y así como estamos aquí, pues ahí nos vemos con ellos Zoom ocupa sí, también está. Zoom, sí ya, yeah, Zoom es, es bien amigable, fun, Zoom. Sí, sí, es bastante. Yeah. Sí, también estamos trabajando con una plataforma que se llama Educar de, de Guatemala. Ok. Uh -huh. That's good. How many students do you have? How many students do you have? How many students do you have? ¿Cuántos estudiantes tiene? Oh, eh, a mi cargo tengo, voy a ver... Como 62, porque están dos, tres, tres secciones. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. ¿En what subjects do you teach? ¿Qué materias enseña? Ciencias. How do you say ciencias in English? Ciencias. Uh -huh. How do you say ciencias in English? Science. 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 Yes, science. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Vilma, can you hear me? Vilma, Vilma. Vilma, Vilma. Está muda Vilma, mire. Ella le ha respondido a usted antes, a Marta. Sí. Sí. ¿Ahorita ya le habló ella? No, ahorita no. Ok, quizás se ha levantado. No. Quizás se ha levantado. Ok, déjeme no? ver. Ok, Marta, la voy a mover entonces. La okay. voy a mandar al, al salón 2. Understand. <laughs> you wake up very late. Yeah, I'm sick. I'm sick. <laughs> you, 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 you wake up at noon. Ajá, <laughs> uh -huh, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> ok, ok. On Saturday, I wake, wake up. Woke up. Woke up. I woke up. At eight eight o'clock, I do many things at the home. I clean the house. I, I did, I did. I did. I did. I did many things. I washed, washed, washed clothes. Uh -huh. I cleaned the house in the morning. I, I watched the movie, the notebook teacher. Oh, the notebook. Crying. Yes, I was crying yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice movie. That's a long yes. movie, right? Uh, yes. I, I, yeah, yes. I think it's a little bit more than two hours. Oh, it's yeah, not that two long. hours. Yes, two hours. But mm -hmm. I cry so much. I cry Had, so Have much. you watched that movie before, Rose? What? Have you watched that movie before? No. Your, your no. first time? Yes, I cry a lot. It's a nice <laughs> movie. It's a nice movie. I, I was alone at the home because my kids uh, go out with my with my sister. And I, I know, I cry. I cry. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, am, um, the, and the English they use in that movie yes, is, is usually yes. easy to understand. Yes, a beautiful English. Yes. Yeah, yeah, clear. I, I, fall in, I fall in love with Ryan Gosling. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can watch that movie twenty times more, and I wouldn't get bored. Yes, I tell to my old sister, do you see the notebook? Oh yes, I, wa I, I was, I seen so, so. Yeah. 
saw I saw in the movie, but I never, I never watch. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I never, I never watch again because I cry so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. But. All right. Uh, beautiful, beautiful movie. Beautiful yeah. Movie. Okay. Good. I'm what, glad what kind of what, teacher? What kind of movie is that? Uh, what kind good. of movie is that? Yeah, it's, a, it's a love movie. Yeah, romance. <laughs> yeah, a romance. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a romance. Yeah, romance <laughs> with, with drama. I mean, it, it's a nice movie. Yeah. So I recommend yeah, it, Ricardo. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I don't, Ricardo. I don't. <laughs> okay, Why God. not, Luis? <laughs> I fall asleep in the in like the first 30 minutes i don't know i need i need to see i know you know guns people dying something like that people <laughs> escaping running and all that uh-huh screaming <laughs> like this <laughs> is that your favorite see... genre action? yeah action yeah me too teacher he wants, action. He wants to see breakpoint Okay. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I like romance and I like drama. Dramas drama. are good. I like drama. No, I like I like worse worse movie too. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yes. horror movies are good too. No, horror no. <laughs> Duro de matar no. is a good movie, teacher. Oh, yes. Duro de matar. Die yeah. Hard. Die, die hard. Die hard. Die hard. Uh -huh. die, die hard. Die yeah. Hard. Yes. <laughs> it's a good it's a, it's a good movie. All right. <laughs> Classic movies, but but better. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let me it's an old movie. movie. It's an old movie. Yes. Fry <laughs> fish. Fry fish. fish. Uh -huh. Pescado okay. frito. Pescado uh -huh. frito. Esas serían las tres actividades que realicé en en familia. How do you say pescado frito in English? Pescado frito. Uh -huh. but is, is that what you said? Pescado frito? I like fish. Fried fish. Okay. I like fried fish. 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 Boca colorada is delicious. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I love fried fish. Tilapia. Tilapia is Tilapia. good too. Tilapia is good. Yeah. Yep. Let me see. Assign two or one. Yeah. So, Marta, you cooked fried fish? Usted lo cocinó, el fried fish. No. <laughs> okay. Le, le comenté que fui a almorzar ahí lo al clavo uh, de ilopango, pescado relleno, sería stuffed fish. Yeah, stuffed fish, good. Stuffed fish. <laughs> yeah, stuffed fish, good, very good. Nice. I, I, I like fish soup. Fish soup. Fish soup, yeah. I don't like the soup. I love the fish, but I don't like the soup. Yeah. Strange. Strange. The fish soup is uh, is delicious. Yeah, yeah. But it, yes, but it has a uh, um, uh, vitamin. Vitamin, sure, sure. Yes, Marta. if you uh -huh. have a headache, the soup okay. is very good for that. For headaches. Yes. Good, good. I love fish. I know that fish has many good elements. I don't know exactly which are the elements, but uh, I love fish. I love fish. Yes. So yes. let me make another room. What? Vilma, Vilma. Vilma, Vilma. Ah. 
All right, welcome back. Any questions about how to use the simple past tense? ¿Cuántos tiempos gramaticales hay en inglés? 11. Almost. 10. 12. 12. 12. Cada tiempo gramatical tiene su estructura y cada tiempo gramatical tiene su función. El pasado simple es de los que más se ocupan. Todo el tiempo, todo el tiempo, todo el tiempo. So it's very necessary uh, to master the use of the simple past tense. Do you remember the differences between regular and irregular? Maybe. <laughs> What's the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre el regular y el irregular? The, the verb. Yeah. Uh, you have to put an S at the end of the word when it's regular. Mm. No. ED. 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 Yes. ED. Oh. Yeah, you put ED when you conjugate the verb to past tense. Regulars or irregulars? Regulars. Regulars. What is the past tense of work? Work it. Work. 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 Worked. Work. Mm -hmm. Work. What is the past tense of clean? Clean your room. Clean. Cleaned. 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 And the Cleaned. past tense of need? Needed. 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 Exactly. So worked, cleaned, <coughs> needed. That is the. Teacher, what about what about the regulars? Okay, irregulars, they change. How do you say barrer in English? Broom. Broom is yeah. escoba. Ah, okay. Sweep. Oh, sweep. Mm. Sweep. 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 What is the past tense of sweep? Swept. How do you hold swept? Yeah. Yeah, sweep, swept. <laughs> Yes. So that is an example of an irregular verb. Irregular. How do you say comprar in English? Buy. Buy. What is the past tense of buy? Bought. 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 Exactly. So how do you say compré una chaqueta nueva? I bought, a, bought new jacket. a new jacket. I bought a new jacket. Exactly. So once again, the difference between regulars and irregulars. Regulars, 
para conjugarlo a tiempo pasado solo le pone una ED. Played, worked, needed. Irregular, si el mismo nombre le dice irregular, le está diciendo que sufre un cambio. Come, came. Go, went. Buy, bought. ¿Y cómo va a saber diferenciar si usted es regular o irregular? No hay manera de saberlo. It's only practice. Pure practice. So, uh, yo le puedo poner X verbo, que digamos usted quizás nunca lo ha visto. ¿Cómo va a saber si es regular o es irregular? There is no way. No hay concepto, no hay regla, no hay nada para decir, mire, si termina así, si se escribe así. It's, it, it's, it's different. Okay, any questions or comments on the past tense use? Pregúnteme si celebré Valentine's. Did you celebrate Valentine's Day? Good, good. Celebrate. Did you celebrate Valentine's? Valentine's Day. Uh -huh. Ahí me está preguntando si celebré San Valentín. Para preguntar en tiempo pasado, necesito el auxiliar did. Did automáticamente pasa todo a tiempo pasado. Entonces el verbo se conserva en su forma base. No puede poner did y el verbo en su forma pasada. That's incorrect. Pregúnteme si compré zapatos. Did you buy shoes? Did you buy shoes? Buy se queda en su forma uh, base. Porque did se encarga de, de conjugar todo a tiempo pasado. And did is the auxiliar for past I, you. Okay, It's for no, everybody. Everybody. For, um, All I, personal I, pronouns. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But when you're talking about he, she, or it, is. Uh, no, it's, did, uh, it's also did, right? Yeah, it's did also he, did. He, did it, uh -huh. Yeah, it's also did. Pregúnteme si vino ella. Did she come? Did she come? Exactly. She come. So, uh, no importa el pronombre personal que esté ocupando, siempre se ocupa did. Did. Okay. So, how do you say, listen, it's a negative question. No comiste. No comiste. That's a negative question. Didn't you eat? Didn't you eat? Mm -hmm. But I, my answer, my, what, how do you say? My answer? answer. Uh -huh. Yeah, your answer? My answer, my, my answer uh, is, my answer, I can answer the question with the pass of the verb. Sure, sure. Uh, okay. Because when you answer, <clears throat> your answer can be positive or it can be negative. Didn't you eat? Yes, I ate, but I'm still hungry. Okay. And um, no, I, no, I didn't. No. Uh, uh, one more time. Sorry. Uh, okay. You say yes. I ate it. Yeah, I ate. I ate. Yeah. Okay. Ate. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Or if the answer is negative, you will say, no, I didn't eat. I didn't have time. Ah, okay. I didn't yeah. eat. So the form of the verb goes in past only when the information is positive. Only when the information is affirmative. Okay. All right. Any questions or comments? Yes, I have a question. Were you talking about a movie? How do you say, I watched a movie or I saw a movie? I watched a movie. Now imagine, imagine mm. you go downtown, San Salvador, Santa Tecla, and you see a lot of people, they're selling movies. If you pass by them, oh, Forrest Gump, you see the movie, but you're not watching the movie. If you buy the movie and you watch it at home, then you say watch. So you saw the publicity of that movie, right. not that movie. Right, uh -huh. right. Now, when you play the CD or when you put Netflix or whatever channel and you start spending time, then you watch it. For example, the, tra the trailer, I, 
we watch the trailers. Yeah, you watch the trailer. It's short, but okay. you're, if you're paying attention pay to attention. the video, yeah, if attention. you're paying attention to the video, you say watch. Watch, okay. I but, watch the, uh -huh, sorry. I watch the, the soccer, the game. soccer play. Yeah, okay. the soccer game or the soccer match. The soccer mm -hmm. okay. Right. And you can use watching another situation or just movie situation. No, no. I imagine when I go to the park with my children, I say, hey, Francisco, what are you doing? I'm at the park. I'm watching my children. So anything where you're paying attention, you say watch. Uh, okay. Yeah. Movies. And so it's something like you. General. Like, okay, I saw it, but that's it. Right. Watch is paying attention, like, to details. Yeah. So imagine, I see you every day. It, that's very general, right? But if somebody's asking me a question, I look at the person and I'm watching her or his reaction. So if you're paying attention to the event, you say watch. If it's general, you say see. Okay. Mm -hmm. There was an there was a only song only song yeah. Uh, somebody's watching me. Yeah. I yeah. got a feeling somebody's watching me. Yeah, I don't remember who sings that. I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Michael yeah. Jackson, no. Yeah, I think so. Yes, Michael yeah, Jackson Michael went Jackson. with yeah. some... But Michael Jackson is... is, 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 is the second, the second one. The cover, not, mm -hmm. not, uh, not the original song, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. remember that. Okay. All right. Watch it because somebody is... Look, You're look, paying attention. Okay, paying attention on me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so let's continue. Are you good at giving directions? Son buenos para dar direcciones a ustedes en español. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay. A los salvadoreños. A la parte del palo mango. Ajá, cabal. So, yeah, in El Salvador, when we are asking for directions, you know, we usually mention uh, reference points. Después del túmulo, a la par del so palo mango. Al, al terminar la cuesta, ahí encontrar una señora vendiendo todo el chuco. So we use reference points. Porque la, la, las direcciones en sí, no, no. ¿Cómo se llama el, el, el redondel salvador del mundo? What's the real name? Plaza Las Américas. Exactly, Plaza oh. Las Américas. Ah. El Ula Ula, ¿cómo se llama el parque Ula Ula? ¿Cómo se llamaba, mejor dicho? <laughs> creo que era el, el 22 de abril creo que era el the official name but anyways so como no sabemos los nombres de las avenidas y todo eso pues se hace más fácil decirlo a en la parte del super select en la parada de usa and so on so let me show you this please open your page your book to page 39 Okay, can you see the map? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, what are the first three places you see on top? ¿Cuáles son los tres primeros lugares que vea en la parte de arriba? The bank, bank? mall, no. and okay. restaurant. Good. What is the meaning of mall? Park. Centro mall. Comercial. Uh -huh. Yeah. Centro Comercial. Centro Comercial. Can you give me examples of malls in San Salvador? Plaza Merriot, um, Galería, Galería Hipermola Plaza. Cascada, uh -huh. Gran Vía, Plaza Mundo. Yep, yep. Can you give me examples of banks in El Salvador? Nah. Vivienda, nah. Banco Agrícola. Okay. okay. What about restaurants? Zócalo. Tony Romas. El Rostal, Picasso. Voy a Campero. Big sad. <laughs> All right, good. What about the next three? ¿Cuáles son los tres siguientes? Four Palace. Four Palace. The Park. park. And Arrow's company. company. Okay, what is the Sport Palace? 
Adolfo Meeting Pineda. Meetings for palaces, huh? Adolfo Pineda. Okay, it could be an example. Yeah, sport palace siempre está relacionado a algo deportivo. Adolfo Pineda can be an option. What else? El Indes. Indes. El Indes. What else? Polideportivo. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Anything that is related with sports is possible, right? Okay, what about parks? No. Cuscatlan Park. Cuscatlan Park, yes. Centenario. Yeah, Centenario. Centenario Park. Yeah. Centenario, Bicentenario. Ula Ula Park. <laughs> Ula Ula Park. It's history now. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Okay. Eh, Parque Libertad. Yeah. Parque Libertad. Parque Libertad Bar. Park. <laughs> yeah, Libertad Park. Parque Bolívar. Cuscatlán. Yeah, different ones. Do you have parks near your homes? No. No? Uh, in my yes, case, it... teacher, I have a Aguilar Spara, uh, something where many people uh, meeting, I don't know, buy something. Okay. That's good, good. And then Arrow's company, it's a proper noun. What is the meaning of Arrow? Flecha. Flecha. Flecha, right. Flecha. So Arrow's company can be an auto shop, a department store. It can be anything. Okay. School. Do you have schools near your home? Mm. Yes. Yes, teacher. What schools are near your home? One that's called ABS School. ABC? Oh, ABC School, yeah. Okay, are you talking about the one uh, near Merliot or the one in no. Colón Escalón? Colón Escalón. Okay, good. Anybody else? ¿Quién más tiene colegios o escuelas cerca de su casa? Me, teacher, next to my home, uh, I have uh, Ana de Los Angeles. <laughs> All right, good, good. Only, I, I only, only public school. Okay, what's the name? Name is Arturo Ambrogi. Oh, okay. Good, good. Okay, what is the meaning of church? Iglesia. Uh -huh. Do you have churches near your home? No. Yes. Yeah. In my case, yes. Okay. How do you say, teacher, uh, what? <laughs> Four houses before mine. Before mine, okay. <laughs> there is a church. Is it a Christian, Catholic, Jehovah's Witness? What is it? I have a Christian church and the other side we had a Catholic church, maybe one block. Okay, a Catholic church. Okay, good, good. And here, here are a Catholic church. Uh, Catholic. Ba 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 Baptist? Ba Baptist. Yeah, Baptist. Baptist. Uh -huh. And the other is the, or the, la the long name, the, la the same or the last of the... I don't oh, know, of what the last... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is one. So there you have one options. The, the, yeah, there is one at the corner. <laughs> Good. The, the, the last name of the... I don't know how do you, how do you say it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mormons. Yeah, Mormons. Mormons, yeah. Yeah. Mormons. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> what is City Hall? What's the meaning of City Hall? Alcaldía. 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 Yes. Right, right. How do you say partida de nacimiento in English? You call it, huh? I didn't know. I have I have to obtain one. I have to obtain one. <laughs> Birth certificate. Birth certificate. Now, if you need a birth certificate, which city hall do you have to visit? In my case, if I need a birth certificate, I need to go to San Salvador City Hall. Okay. What okay. about you guys? Me too. I have to go to uh, San Salvador. Okay. In my case, I go to the Aguilares City Hall. <laughs> okay. All right. 
¿Y los demás? ¿A dónde, a qué alcaldía les toca ir? Saints San Salvador City Hall. Ok. Do you guys remember Calle Gerardo Barrios? No. Do you know where Calle Gerardo Barrios is? Calle Gerardo no, Barrios. Near the Mercado Central. Yeah. 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 Do you know where Michelin used to be? La 25. Yes. I used to pass to Michelin ah. when I was a child. Okay. Merca Mercado Cuscatlán, teacher. Yeah, near mm -hmm. Mercado Cuscatlán, right. So next to Mercado Cuscatlán, it yeah, was uh, Michelin. Calle uh -huh. And that's Calle Gerardo Barrios. Mm -hmm. So I was born there. I was born yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. Calle Gerardo Barrios. It is the 25 Avenue, teacher. Uh, 25th Avenue. Uh, 25th. Oh, yeah, 25th. Avenue. Yeah. All right. And Book World. What do you think Book World is? <laughs> librería. Okay. How do you mm -hmm. say librería in English? Library. Not really. No. La library bookstore. means biblioteca. A bookstore? Bookstore. Yes. Bookstore. Oh, bookstore. Okay, let, let me put that in the chat because that creates confusion sometimes. So, library, people read or they study in a library, right? In a bookstore, what do you do in a bookstore? Buy books. Yeah, you buy material. So library is very close to librería, but the meaning is very different. Mm -hmm. What materials can you buy in a bookstore? ¿Qué podemos comprar en una librería? Notebooks, pencils, paper, sharpeners, razors, uh -huh. pencil colors. Yes. Color pencils, books, color pencils. notebooks, sharpeners. What is the name of that thing that you used to make circles? Scissor. Huh? No. Ah, compass, but I don't know how to say that in English. Yeah, compass was the, was 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 the name. I don't remember how to say compass in English because compass in English is. Brujola is different. It's a compass. Okay. All right. Any questions about vocabulary? Preguntas. So, what is in? Ahorita vamos a hablar de preposiciones de lugar. When you are, when you are talking about a specific time. Uh, but if, if, if we're talking about Places like my sister is in the church right now. When someone is inside a place, teacher. Right, right. How do you say ir a dejar? Voy a dejar a mi hermana a la iglesia. I'm going to drop off. Drop. Drop. Drop off. Drop off. Ir a dejar. So, voy a dejar a mi hermana y la veo entrar. En eso habla mi mamá y dice, where is your sister? I say, she is in the church. Está dentro de la iglesia. Right? What about on? What is on? Preposición del lugar on. Sobre. Sobre. Sobre the, Boulevard Constitución. Ajá, uh -huh, on, the, on the Boulevard Constitución. Ajá, uh -huh. sobre San Antonio Abad, sobre la Tutunichapa. So when you're talking about mentioning the name of the street, avenue, or boulevard, uh, mm -hmm. you need to say on. On. Now, when do we say at? When... Um, she, he has mm. to, he, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Teacher, maybe when we talk about a specific place. Okay. We say at for open places. At. at the stadium, 
at the parking lot, at the beach, open places, at the park. For example, okay, there was a, a robbery at the bank. There was a robbery at the bank. At the bank. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yes, it, it's good. At the bank, in the bank. Yes. Now, when do we use at? Cuando usted está hablando de un lugar en particular, pero no sabe en qué parte está la persona. So yo le digo, my son is at school right now. At school. Digamos que la escuela está cerrada, pero yo digo at school. ¿Por qué? Porque no sé, está en la cafetería, en el salón, donde el, okay. donde el uh -huh. uh, director. So, you say at. Any questions? <coughs> questions, questions? No? So, the first question says, which street is the restaurant on? Which street is the city hall on? Which street is the park on? So, son preguntas bien fáciles de responder. El mapa está bien amigable. Pero no solamente quiero que responda esas tres preguntas, sino que le explique a su compañero cómo ocupar in on at. Is it clear? Is it clear? Is it clear? ¿Está claro, gente? Ajá. Uh -huh. No. Yes. No. Maybe. Ok, aquí lo voy a poder platicar y lo voy a estar visitando y me hacen sus preguntas.
Teacher. The yes, teacher sir. Is inside? Okay. Yes. Well, the first question is, which street is the restaurant on? Uh, uh -huh. How do you say en la esquina de on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue? Okay. At the corner. At the corner. At the corner. At, at the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Yes. However, there are certain situations where you can use more than one. So at the corner, or you can say in the corner of Constitution and Juan Pablo II. So you can say at or in. And included, you can also say on. On the corner of Second yes. Avenue and First Street. So which one is the right one? The three, the three are good. At, on, in. You say at the corner, in the corner, on the corner. In the corner, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the first, uh, the first one is, the restaurant is at the, corner, the, first at the corner of First Avenue and Roosevelt Street. And Roosevelt Street. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Where is Café de Don Pedro in San Salvador? Mm, Alameda Juan Pablo II. On Alameda Juan Pablo II. <laughs> okay. On Alameda Juan Pablo II. Right. And I think it's uh, 25th, like 30 something Avenue, 30 something, 31st Avenue, 32nd Avenue. So you said Café de Don Pedro is at the corner of Alameda, Roosevelt, and 30-something Avenue. Teacher, oh. when, when a place is on the corner, we use the uh, two directions, teacher, in this case. Uh, if you want to be very specific, you mention the two streets. So it's easier okay. for the person to arrive. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So imagine someone that has never been to Café Don Pedro <clears throat> said, Okay, um, Alameda Roosevelt, but Alameda Roosevelt is a little bit long. So it's too long. <laughs> where yeah. exactly? And that's why you say Alameda Roosevelt and 25th Avenue, 40th Avenue, and so on. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other questions? Not teacher. Thank you. You're mute, Luis. And the second question, and they are asking which streets is the city hall on? You uh -huh. can say on the second avenue next to the church okay let me see it okay uh Maybe. which street is city hall on you can say on yes. second avenue next to the church to the that church. will be one or you can say on second avenue and roosevelt street ah. mm -hmm. on second avenue second avenue and roosevelt street yes sir and Roosevelt Street. And which is which street is a park? The park on? Hump. Uh, it's between First Avenue and Second Avenue. One more time. Uh, which street is a park on? Is between First Avenue and Second Avenue? Okay, let me see it. Or, is the park on? Yes, you can say it's between First and Second Avenue. Or you can say it's between Roosevelt and Barrio Street. Uh, yeah. Or let's say you are arranging a specific place to meet somebody. Okay, I'll wait for you at the park tomorrow at 2 p.m. Yeah, but what part of the park? Oh, I'm going to wait for you at the corner of First Avenue and Roosevelt Street. Mm. So you're very specific. Right? Okay. Uh huh. How do you spell between? Between. W E E N. Between. W B E T W E E N. Yeah. B E T W E E N. Between. Okay. Any okay. other questions? No. All right. Good. Wait. Well, 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 well. Hello, how are we you? Need, we need you. 
I'm here. Tell me. How do you say pasarela? Walkway. Pasarela. Walk. Yeah. Okay, pasarela. You say footbridge. Ah, uh, footbridge. Footbridge. Can you, can uh, you uh, write, uh, please? Sure, right now. Footbridge. Ah, okay. Footbridge. Puente de pies. Yes. <laughs> Puente okay. peatonal, footbridge. Ah, footbridge. Uh, okay. Footbridge. Puente a pie. Yeah, in El Salvador we call them pasarelas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, telling, saying, or telling? Selling, saying? What? It depends or what you want the, to yeah, say. You yeah, know, giving directions, uh -huh. it's um, difficult. <laughs> um, learn, it takes learn to practice. Give no, in Spanish, cuts so much. No, in English. <laughs> okay. For example, in this exercise, which street is on? <laughs> is the restaurant now? Uh huh. I think um, Janetu is on the Roosevelt Street. Okay, let me see it. Yeah. Give me a second. See, where's the book? Okay, which which one are you talking about? Which question? Yeah, which this, which street is the restaurant on? Street number one. On, it, yes, it's on the Roosevelt Street. It's on on Roosevelt Street. It's on. On Roosevelt. On Roosevelt. Ah, okay, no there. No, it's on Roosevelt Street. Okay, the second or is. Or you can also say it's on First Avenue. Now Roosevelt Street can be long. Ah. First Avenue can be long too. So you want to be very specific. You say the restaurant is at the corner of Roosevelt and First Avenue. Okay. And then you're okay. being very specific about the addresses. Non necessary street is, is for a street. You can mention an avenue. Yeah, you, you can mention the intersection, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. The question could be which avenue is on the street? Uh, which avenue is the restaurant on? Right. But, you know, like because you have avenues, streets, boulevards, usually people say en que calle. They never say en que avenido, okay. en que boulevard. So uh -huh. if, if you want to be very general, en que it's, it's, yeah, calle. It, what street? Uh -huh, porque en What español street? dicen en qué calle right. y puede haber una avenida, bulevar, puede puede una avenida. Una, un bulevar, una avenida o una calle en específico. Exactly, ah, exactly. Okay. Ah, ok, I understand. Ok, any other okay. questions? Um, which street is the, par is the park on? The third. The third. Which street uh, is, is the park on? Yeah. Between Roosevelt and, Be and Barrios Street. No. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. an option. Or okay. what would be another option, Janet? Uh, mm, yeah, uh, I see. Uh, the same between Barrios Street and the Roosevelt Street. Okay, no. and what other two yeah. options do we have? Between the second and the first avenue. Exactly, uh, exactly. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. how do you say miremonos en el parque mañana in English? Look at the past tomorrow. Miremonos oh. en el parque mañana. See you Look tomorrow in the park. Okay. <laughs> See you okay. tomorrow in the park. That would be an option. Or you can say, let's meet. Encontrémonos. Let's meet. Encontrémonos, reunámonos. Ah, let's okay. meet. So okay. let's meet at the park. So you say, what part of the park? The park is very big. So he entra usted y dice, let's meet at the corner of Roosevelt and Second Avenue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or oh, let's meet and the uh, and the First Avenue and the Barrios Street. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Or in the corner of First Avenue and Barrio Street. Ah, yes. the corner. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I say at the middle. Huh? Yeah. What, what was your question? Can I say in the middle? In the middle of the park, sure. Yeah. The center okay. of the park, yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, especially if the park has uh, monuments, statues, benches, okay. or any reference points, you can perfectly say it. There is a bench in the corner. Uh-huh. Okay. Exactly. Yes. Okay. 
There is a dog every time in the corner. Uh, <laughs> and right. they the dog, the, the dog is absent. <laughs> right. Let me visit another room. <laughs> okay. Hello, hello. Hello, people. Hello, hello. Hola, hola. Hello. He hello, Antonia. How are you? How are you? Bien. Good, good. Good, good. Are you speaking with Marta? Eh, no, no le sirve el micrófono, creo, porque no hemos podido hablar. Okay. All right, vamos este, a ver también. Sí, uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Yo las estoy eh, contestando, pero en la número tres tengo duda. Okay. Which street is the park on? ¿En qué mm. calle está el parque? En para mí en la cuatro. Ya, yeah, correcto. Pueden ser cuatro. Si usted quiere ser bien específica, how do you say miremonos mañana en el parque? How do you say that in English? Mm, on the stream. Ok, pero ¿cómo se dice? Miremonos mañana en el parque. En el parque. ¿Cómo se dice mucho gusto en inglés? Good. Eh, no. Eh, mucho gusto. Mi nombre es Francisco. Eh, nice to meet you. Ah, sí, 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 perdón. Se me Ajá. Meet, meet <risa> significa conocer o reunirse. Entonces, les decía que para cuando usted hace una invitación, como por decir, leamos, yo le digo, let's read. Estudiemos, let's study. Bailemos, let's dance. Entonces, ¿cómo voy a decir? Reunámonos. Let's meet. Let's meet. Mm. Let's meet at the park tomorrow. Let's meet at the park tomorrow. At sería ahí. Ajá. Because the park es un lugar abierto. Let's meet at the park tomorrow. ¿Cómo me va a preguntar en qué parte del, del, del parque? What part? What part of the park? What part of the park? Entonces vengo yo y le digo, let's meet, reunámonos, in the corner of First Avenue and Barrio Street. ¿A dónde, a dónde los vamos a reunir? En la avenida... First Se... Avenue en Barrio Street. Sí. Ah, en la avenida. ¿Dónde nos vamos a reunir? En First Avenue, Barrio Street. En Barrio Street. Y ahí está siendo más específico porque el, cua... el, el parque tiene cuatro esquinas y aparenta ser un poco grande el parque, entonces tiene que ser bien específico para que no la vayan a estar esperando en el lugar equivocado. Entonces, en, en la 3 tengo que contestar por, por lo menos con dos calles. Pueden dos ser avenidas. cuatro. Pues y en la, sí. uno, en la 1 y en la 2, yo dejé en la respuesta on the street, street ¿cómo se dice? Street. Street, street Rosenberg. Roosevelt. Roosevelt, perdón. Roosevelt Stream. Ah, no, Ajá. ya no le puse el stream porque ya le había puesto antes on the stream Roosevelt. Ajá, entonces dice, ¿en qué calle está la, el restaurante? Usted pudo haber dicho First Avenue o pudo haber dicho Roosevelt Street. Pero, ¿qué tal si la Roosevelt Street es larga o la First Avenue es larga? Entonces, para que la gente no se pierda, usted le dice, The restaurant is in the corner of First sí. Avenue. En Roosevelt Street. Cuando usted está hablando de esquinas, puede ocupar las tres in, on, at. Ah, uh, ok. Ya. Yep. Listo. So, ¿en qué calle está la alcaldía, Antonia? Mm, vamos a ver dónde estaba la school. Es la que dice Arrows Company. Uh, ajá, City, no, oh. City Hall. Ah, sí. El día es City Hall. Es 
on the string second avenue. On second avenue. On second avenue. What is another option? ¿Cómo? ¿Qué es otra opción? What is another option? Mm, on Roosevelt Street. Exactly. On Roosevelt Street. Y si quiere ser bien específica, dice, está en la esquina de Roosevelt con Second Avenue. Mm, ok. Yep. Any questions? Preguntas? Mm, no, no, teacher. No. Okay. O sea que cuando vamos a hablar de esquina podemos usar on, in y at. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Ok. All right. Vamos uh, a visitar el último salón y nos regresamos. Hello, hello. All right, do you have any questions about the exercise? Recuerde, cuando usted va a decir en la esquina de, you can say in, on, and at. Because it's an open place. Y se valen las tres. In the corner, on the corner, at the corner. Si ya está dentro de un lugar, usted dice in. Si va a decir está sobre la avenida Roosevelt, va a decir on. If it's an open place, you will say at. Any questions or comments? Preguntas. Okay, so ahí tenemos. Can you see my book? Yes, teacher. Okay. In on at on 4th Avenue on the corner on the street, in, in El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood, at, at the meeting room, at work, at the bank. Any questions there? I guess not. So let's do exercise five, please. Vamos el ejercicio 5. Let's go. Ahí Ricardo nos compartió otra vez el libro en el chat. Thank you, Ricardo. Work at it.
Uh, teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, the number six is correct. Which one? Number six. Number six. Tell him that we are. Yes, no. I, uh, uh -huh. the, the answer is included there. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it's a mistake. Uh huh. Yep. Okay, volunteer for number one. The one teacher, um, let me see it. I work in the bank that is on First Avenue and Barrio Street. Very good. Number two, someone else? Uh, me. The yeah. factory is located in the Libertad. Okay, in the Libertad, at the Libertad. The two options are good. Number three. We see you a training room or in the cafeteria. Okay. We see you at the training room or in the cafeteria or at the cafeteria. cafeteria. So remember that, yeah, uh, some cases, some scenarios, uh, more than two answers are possible. Yep. Number four. Anna works. Uh -huh. Marta, can you hear me? Marta, Marta. Antonia, can you hear me? Anybody? Uh, Anna works in a company that is in town. Yes, Anna works in the company that is in town. Good. Number five, someone else. My relatives. My relatives go to the mall that is on the Roosevelt Street. Good, on Roosevelt Street. What is the meaning of relatives? 
Pariente. Pariente. Yes, very good. What is the meaning of factory? Fábrica. Yes, very good. And number six, the, the answer is already there. Tell them that we are at the meeting room with everybody. Any questions or comments? No? How much time have you worked in the place where you are right now? How many Six, years? 16. 16 years. You, Rosa? Five. Five yes. years. Osmin, yes. how many years in your company? Uh, eight years. Eight years. Yeah. Ricardo? I have been teacher around five years. Okay. Janet Morales, how many years in your company? Four years. Four years. Marta, can you hear me? Marta, Marta. Quizás se durmió Marta. Antonia, how many years in your company? Six years. Six years. So, usted sabe muy bien que está a la par, que está enfrente, que está atrás y todo eso. So, we go to the next section. Yes. I need a volunteer. Yes. So, volunteer to read the instructions on part six, please. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see it. Yeah. Create your own map with your workplace on it and the places, buildings, and others that surround it. Show and explain your math to the other partners. Thank you. So, eso exactamente lo que va a ser. Va a ser un mapa sencillo, como el de la página anterior, que le enseñan aproximadamente nueve lugares. Y ahí va a poner los nombres de las calles y las avenidas que rodean su lugar de trabajo. Any questions? No, teacher. So, así en su cuaderno, lo dibuja así, tarará, y después no lo va a explicar. Go ahead. Piece of cake. And she don't, uh, Luis Martinez, because he worked there <laughs> in the same place. <laughs> you and who? Luis Martinez? <laughs> yes. And, uh, we, and Antonia. Yes. Luis, oh. Antonia, and I work at the same place, and, and I, I copy to. <laughs> okay. Copy I she, <laughs> how do you say copy? I she, uh, I'll she. copy him. Okay, I'll copy him the map. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys work in different departments. Yes, yes. Yes, but it's not that big. <laughs> All right. So let's see who is the most creative. <laughs> Luis. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
Hello, hello. Hello, hello. How do you say pasaje, teacher? Passage. Passage. Okay. Yes. I'm looking for the map and the Google Maps, and I try to draw. <laughs> okay. Did you how do you say passage? Passage. Passage. I'll write it. You... Okay. Passage. Passage. Yes. Yes, teacher. Ready? I am ready. Yeah. Okay. One more minute, people. One more minute. Okay. Thank you. Quería traer más agua, meanwhile. Okay. Water. Water. Yeah, water. Thank you. All right, are you guys ready? Yes, I am. Yes, I am ready. Okay, so los voy a reubicar <coughs> para que terminen con alguien y um, y puedan trabajar. So, move to room two. 
move to room four, move to room four. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Excuse me, here we go. Explain your map. Hello, hello. Are you guys here? Are you? I guess not. Hello. Hi, Janet. 
How was your day? Fine, and you? Good, good. I'm a little bit tired. You know, lately Mondays are very tiring for me, you know, I because of usually on Sundays I go out with my family. So the following day I'm usually uh, tired. So, did you finish speaking with Lu with Luis? Hi. Yes, I showed her my mini map. Uh huh. This map. Okay. See my map. Yeah. So I, so I work here in GM Telcom. So our reference point is El Salvador del Mundo. It's like around here, at okay. the right. Uh huh. So this is Santa Isabel Avenida Sur at San Salvador. Colonia Roma is the name of this place. That neighborhood, okay. The neighborhood, yeah. And that's it. We have a apartment building at the right, a restaurant in the left, and next to the restaurant, a apartment building. In front of us, an office building and a business center. Okay. What is the name of the restaurant? It's a, uh, how do you say the paso? Comida de paso? What do you mean? Uh, where they have like... You mean fast food? food? No, it's not fast food. It's like they have like home food. Like carne guisada, Oh, sopa. yeah. Home cooked food. Home cooked. Uh, it, it doesn't have a name. It's just home cooked food and it's cheap. Okay. What is cheap? Two fifty, three dollars Yeah, two fifty, three dollars Yeah. And it includes everything. Four tortillas, um, chicken, rice, salad, and a big, a big, uh, how do you say fresco? Uh, refreshment. And a big refreshment. It's really oh. good. Yeah, good, good. And what about you, Janet? Do you have your map ready? Yes. Can you explain it? But the... My map is uh, is basic. It's because, yeah, it's basic. Don't worry. Just explain I, us where your I work is. I don't have a punto de reference. Reference point. Reference point. It's uh, twenty-two and a half kilometers of freeway free Panamericana. Okay, kilometer 22. 22, 22. Yeah, yeah, kilometer 22. Ah, pero es 22 y medio. Oh, 22 and a half. Ajá, uh -huh, 22 and a half kilometers. Okay. Of Freeway Panamericana on Cuellar Avenue in the Amaya Street. Okay, good. Yeah, Cuellar. I pass by Cuellar every day, every day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. So when, when, um, if you need to catch the bus to your company, what bus would you catch? Uh, me, I don't know. Uh, I, maybe 79. Uh-huh. And 205? Yes. Okay. 205 and 106, 105. <laughs> right, right, right. Good. What about you? Yeah. <laughs> right. All the buses that come from Sonsonate, Santana, and Aguachapán. Yes. They pass by there. Yeah. And you live in Lourdes, right? Yes. Good. All right. What about you, Luis? What buses can you catch to go to your work? I don't have I don't have any idea. Uh-huh. So but when you when you see the buses, do you know the lines that they're driving? I don't pay attention really. Uh-huh. I don't know. All right, so so you will be a, 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 a 
maybe being a taxi driver would not be a good option for you. No, I, I have a problem. My mom said that I, wo I, I was born without a GPS in my head. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm very bad with directions and <laughs> things like that. Uh -huh. Okay. If All you that. go to the work, work, Luis work, you can coach 101. Yes. From yes. Lourdes. No, for, Santa Tecla. From Santa Tecla, okay. For, 44? Yeah, 44? No, no, uh, 34. Yeah, 34. Yeah, 34. And in, in 27, I think. 27, yes. yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay, they're coming back in 20 seconds. Uh -huh. Okay, what time do you guys usually eat dinner? Seven, 7.30. Okay, yeah. so you About eat? 6 a.m. What time, Rick? Oh, no, dinner. Dinner. Uh, 6 p.m. Sorry, 6 p.m. Sorry, <laughs> 6 p.m. That's early. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Because yeah. I, I hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's good because you give your body enough time for digestion. You know, it's good. Yes. But if I were you, I would be hungry right now. You know, like it's been four hours. And, yes. And you, what time you did you take your dinner? Uh, today in particular, I was eating like about 7.35, 7.40, because okay. every time that I start my classes, I want to make sure that um, uh, that my stomach is, is completely happy. 7.40, but you eat very fast? Yeah, kind of, kind of. No way, no, yeah. no. I need about 20, 24 minutes to take a yes. <laughs> My mother, when she eats, she takes like 25 or half hour to eat. Yeah. She goes like very slow. Right, right. And I enjoy my food too, but it's just that <laughs> I eat at a faster pace. I take my dinner about 7.30. Okay. But after the class, I take another <laughs> yeah, I, I, I take cereal with milk. Okay, cereal. good. Cereal with milk yes. is good. It's a good option. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right, good. All right, people. So we're going to continue tomorrow. Same place, okay. same time. Hey, Chair, you, you didn't say attendance? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. You saved my life. What's today? Today is the 15th. 15th. Okay. So please activate your camera. Alice Hernandez, she's absent. Cesar Argueta, he's absent. Claudio Osorio, she's absent. Stephanie Martinez, she's absent. Jacqueline Martinez, she's absent. Jessica Escamilla, she's absent. Uh, Catherine Hueso, she's absent. Uh, Luis Martinez. Activate your microphone. Luis, Luis. Present, present. Thank you. Maria Esther Castillo, she's absent. 
Maria Gabriela Ramos, she's absent. Uh, Marta Alicia Monge, are you here? Marta, Marta. Present. Mira, apareció Marta al final, mire. <laughs> Very good, Marta. Marta Araceli, she's absent. Uh, Osmin. Present, teacher. Very good, Osmin. Uh, Antonia. Yeah. Very good. Uh, Rick. Present, teacher. Very good. Rosalena. Present. Good. Rosa Maria George, she's absent. Sandra Carolina Monge, absent. Vilma Sorto, estaba conectada al inicio. Yeah. And Janet Morales. Present. Very good. How do you say recordarme in English? Remind me. Remind me. Yes. Thanks for reminding me, Rosalena. Okay. Okay. All right, so we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Okay. Good, night. good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Sleep well. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye -bye.